Hey everybody out there, this is Joel McLaughlin with DataFlurry.com. What DataFlurry is, we are a search engine optimization, web design, marketing firm. Uh, we do a bunch of different stuff to gain top rankings in the search engines. We've been around for quite some time. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk today about link popularity and link building. This is based on our first video uh, that was the top 10 tips to top Google. Link popularity is huge. Um, it's one of the main factors that Google focuses on when when giving great rankings for popular terms. You want to get links into your site with good anchor text. Anchor text is the wording within the link pointing to your site. You also want to gain quality links from relevant sites. You want to get links, say, say you're a site that sells puppy chow. You want to get links from other sites that sell puppy chow or talk about puppy chow. You don't want to get links from gambling sites, porn sites, stuff like that. Totally not worth it. Don't need to go, uh, you know, cause any problems or make the search engines look at you as weird. Get everything relevant, create relevant content on your site. Um, Google loves good sites that actually have some effort put into them writing quality articles and obtaining quality links there are a number of ways to get quality links to your site um, you can obtain inbound links from quality relevant sites by going to link to link directories you can do reciprocal linking article distribution video blogging you can go into forums um, there's a new thing called social bookmarking Social bookmarking is just going to bookmarking sites and adding your link in specified under what you want it to be read as. So if you create a new article, you can add it to the social bookmarking sites, that sort of thing. Things I want to focus on today that are really easy to get started, get you in the right direction, would be directory listings as well as getting some articles out there. Um, to find sites that are going to be like directories and that sort of thing where you can add your link. Let's say we're trying to build up our web development page. You could search for web development in quotes and then type in links directory. You're going to find some sites here that are willing to link to you. And they also have to do with web development. So let's click on one of these links that will open up for us. Hold on one sec here. You're going to see a page here. Finer design. Great website. The guy comes up pretty high under web design and stuff like that. Awesome site to get a link from. You're going to want to go onto his page, submit your link, enter in your title, your website address, description, give him a reciprocal link, don't just submit it without a reciprocal link. He won't link to you. And then uh, it's it's pointless to ever submit links to other sites and not do the effort to add the link on your own site. You're wasting your time. You're never going to go anywhere on the Internet if you do that. <laughs> not to be mean, but just give them their link. I still believe in reciprocal links wholeheartedly. They've got our site some top rankings under some neat terms. And then um, what you'll do is you'll submit it to his site. Then you'll go back to your results. Find another site add your link and move forward great tactic there's other tools out there like backlink builder and some other things that will help do some of the work for you okay so you could type in website development what it's gonna do it's gonna pull up a lot of results that have like add link suggest link suggest URL stuff like that within the page content which helps you to find good sites to link uh, to link to and get links on. Next, let's move on to article search optimization. I wrote an article on article search engine optimization talking about tips, techniques, how to do it right. Creating an article is just like creating a page on your website. You want it to have great optimization uh, within the article. The article name should have the keywords within it. You should have description, a good description that contains your keywords. And within your article, you need to sprinkle your key term of focus throughout the article itself. 
Um, it's a big deal. Focus on it. Get it done. Next, what we want to do is uh, find out where to submit your article. So once you've created an article, you want to make it at least 400 words, 450 words. And then there's a lot of great websites out there that you can submit your articles to. It's recommended that you space out your article submission. Submit your article to one site, wait a week, submit it somewhere else, that sort of thing. Um, some great sites are like Article Base. You can sign up, create an account, have everything emailed to you, and then uh, submit your article. What I do is I create accounts at a bunch of different sites, and then I save all my login information. And so I can just log in, submit my article. In moments, I can be out there on the web with a new article on another site with a great link to my site. Uh, makes it easy. Just do a little research. Make it so that you can build your site's links up really well over time. You don't just need those few links here and now. Create tactics that will work long term to get you a lot of links. Um, within your articles when you make your link to your own site use anchor text within your link for your key terms if your site's about uh, if your site's about puppy chow use the terms like dog food puppy food stuff like that within the link to your site it's gonna help you out it's gonna tell the search engines hey this site's legitimate they talk about dog food they talk about that sort of thing so that search engines are going to see a page full of quality content linking to your site that talks about the content that we were just uh, that we were just going over link popularity as well is not just something you should focus on getting links to your home page also get a lot of links to your sub pages on your website you shouldn't only focus on having links pointing to your home page the search engines do seem to to give a lot of credibility to sites that have links to a lot of different pages they want their ultimate goal is to provide the best results to their search users um, so it makes sense that they want sites that have a lot of different links pointing to different pages on the site and that sort of thing um, relevancy of inbound links make sure you're always just getting good quality links pointing to your site from relevant sites that are focused on your area of focus um, and other than that I uh, appreciate you guys listening in hopefully I helped you out to give you some good tips on how to gain links um, some other things you can do create some forum accounts start posting on forums blogs you know don't bug people and, and make people mad just uh, you know be kind in the way you do everything um, and uh, best of luck to you guys in gaining those top rankings. Have a good day. Joel McLaughlin, dataflurry.com. Bye.